Okay. Cool. Hi. So this is project light. The projection light. First light. They released a demo. And uh, it seems a pretty cool project. And we're about to take a look. This is the option. I really enjoy the music so far. I like the menu. I enjoy the music. I do feel like they are missing credits here. This game made by Shadowplay Studios, Wetty Chair, and developed and published by Blowfish Shoot Studios. Yeah. I do like the logo a lot. It's very unique. It's, a, it's dynamic. No custom mouse pointer. Okay, let's go in. A, D, and space. What a weird thing. You can move the light. What happened to the bot? Oh. Okay. Guess we need that to be like that. Is this an easter egg or something? Wait. Oh, never mind. It's a piano or something like that. It's cool that I'm already using both hands. Oh. Check. Let's check down first. I can't jump on the light. I guess we have to go up there. It's really weird. Man, this game is trippy. I don't think you can go up there. It looks like... A waiting room. Storage. The music and the sound effects are just great. Or you can get stuck inside the shadow. Butterfly. I think it's optional. Cool. So you get optional stuff as well. I did raise myself up there. Seems good enough. I like also how they are making a 
appear. Stuff on screen. Look, this was never here. Some, some stuff was never here. Also the 3D aspect of it. Like, look at the background. It's so dynamic, so well my. Yeah, I don't get this though. Is it supposed to be like this? It looks like we are attached to something though. Very, very weird. It's teaching me how to raise myself, basically. Indonesia. Okay, you can't go back. You have audio and credits here. Or you do have credits. But just right here and not in the menu. Still don't understand the point of the butterfly. Maybe it's following the light. Maybe it's gonna be used for something. like this should be darker. Butterfly is gone. Where we could have gone up there maybe. Oh, it's, it's so weird. We made it through though. China. Oh, you can use that to light the lantern. Okay, if you fall you just you can just go back up right there. But I do wanna collect it again.
Ok. Okay, let's light that up. And then this. Turkey. So it looks like we are visiting different monuments from different cities. This just open up the path. Hmm. Oh, it may be the actual way I did it by accident, but we might need to go up. Like that. Oh, I thought you could stand right there. Maybe it's just that edge. Okay. Yeah, don't unlock it. Maybe it's from here. Oh, we have that though. Wanna get it? We can enter there. First of all, let's take a look here. Okay, nothing else. England. You can get this and you can use it.
Wow. Wait. Can I do something like that? Making it really clear that I can get this stuff. Oh, I'm using the shadows to to move this away from the platform. What about that one that I brought with me? I feel like I missed something. Hmm. It's fine. Like, the fact that you cannot check collectibles. Inventory. I don't know. Also, mouse and keyboard, maybe? I mean, do you have a controller option? I don't see it. Thanks for playing wishlist projection on Steam now. I do really like... the art style for this game. The cutscenes are also fun. It's just... Character upgrades? I haven't seen much. About it. Collectible? They don't look super... Uh, there doesn't seem like there is a catalog. Or... They don't look like power-up, they look just like, um, achievement. They don't look useful to the gameplay. It's like little easter egg. It's not bad, it's just the fact that you cannot count them. But it's... meh, I don't know. Also, they are all looking identical. You basically collect fireflies. They're all identical. You do have a, diff a lot of different mechanics, like the weight. And... Um, platforming could be very fun. I mean, I, I gotta say, the music... Give it, give this a bonus. Gameplay wise, man, I want to say it's average though. I I would love to say that it's more, but yeah. You you went through cities, but the story isn't super engaging. It's more like. Game like the show Sojourn, not the Sojourn, like one of those games where you you just play to relax and chill, like like a walking simulator almost. The puzzles were super easy to solve, not that challenging. I didn't get teased any future content, but that's just. One tenth of the game, like it could be a relaxing experience, when maybe when the game actually released could be instead like a challenging game, 
and we don't know about it, just playing the demo. Yeah, those are my thoughts on it for now. I'm gonna end here. Pretty cool thing could be that you could move in in the menu because now right now was is not used and it's not used here as well to move between options so yeah it could be added uh, also power-ups like double jumps could be introduced I but we don't know just yet like it's like I, I would say the, the game is average the music it's a plus, but I don't see that extra things that will make this make game more unique than others. Like I've seen similar game that are using gravity or light, a 2D world. It was a fun demo. Not gonna lie, but yeah. That's everything I wanna say, just to make it clear before the release. You see this stuff? Some things are not even in the demo. But yeah. Could be a boss fight, but I don't know about the difficulty. Like, it seemed a pretty chill experience more than anything. Ending here. I mean, I did like. If I have to say something for a game of this genre, I did like. Since I got a demo key from them, I'm gonna just give them a shout out. And you should try this game because it's pretty fun. It's also free, apparently. I didn't know this. Oh no, it's not free. Sorry, the first hour. Oh, it's the first hour that it's free. You use light and shadow in a 3D environment. And I enjoyed this game a lot. Even though they ended up not giving me a review key, I still played the. I tested the, the beta version. It was provided to me early, and I published this. After uh, three months after the release, but it's freaking good game. And they use the same kind of mechanic, very similar at least. So that's you see. If this is ten bucks, we're gonna talk about pricing. I don't know how this is gonna go. Also with not option. With um, key binding, yeah, but still cool project and very good music. I'm ending here. Goodbye.